Hi, when we are acquiring data from evidence media, we are attaching the media, the hard drive, the flash drive to our computer. And from there, we are creating an image, a copy, a bit by bit copy of the data that is on that media. One of the essential things is to block any writing to this media because if you recall, one of the rules of forensics is not to modify, not to change anything on the evidence media. So this video is about write blockers. We want to make sure that there is no writing to that media that we are acquiring, that we are copying the data from to our forensics machine. Write blockers can be a hardware that you attach to your computer and then you attach your media to that hardware or they can be software. There are multiple commercial uh, write blocker software that are available in the market. One of them, for example, if you go to www.forensicsoft.com forensicsoft.com The safe block is one commercial software that you can here you can try it free or you can buy it and there are others that you can look if you do a google on write blocker software you will find multiple ones another example would be if you go to a website called techspot.com again it's http And let's go to downloads and let's do a search on write protect. And here it is. This is another freeware that you can use. However, in this video, what we are be doing, we will be tweaking the registry of the Windows machine in order to prevent any writing to any device that you attach to your uh, USB port. So in order to do that, let's go to registry edit. I am working on a Windows 8.1 here. So I'm going to type run and type in registry edit here in the window and say OK. From here, I will go to the local machine key expand local machine go to system go to current control set and go to control expand control we are looking for a key that is called storage device policies i have storage i have storage management but I don't have storage device policies. So from control here, I'm going to highlight control and right click on it and create a new key. I will call that storage device policies, all one word, hit enter. And we just created a new key that still doesn't have anything on it. Right click on it and go to a new DWORD 32 bit here and create a DWORD called Write Protect. And let's change the value to 1. Now I'm going to reattach my device my flash drive uh, go to it and I will create a newer document so notepad this two for short and we'll save it same drive this two we'll save it to the flash drive Okay, and we are getting an error now 
that I cannot save here, please choose another location. Meaning, I just protected my drive, my flash drive, from being written to. Just to test, I'm going to change the flash drive. I'm going to close this. Choose another flash drive. Totally different one. And I will save to this drive here. I have a folder only. And I'm going to save to it. I'm getting the same error. Meaning that anything that I attach to this, to the USB port, will be right protected now. Okay? So we just created right protection. I'm going to get rid of this, go back to the registry, and let's do the following now, because not every time that we want to do that, we are going to be going to the registry and tweaking or editing the registry. Uh, by the way, before you do any work on the registry, always create a restore point. So if you mess up anything, you can always go to the state that you started. In this case here, I'm going to take that key that I created and export it. And I'm going to call it right protect on because right now we are in a state of the right protection is on and I will save it let's say to the my desktop for now okay so I saved it you can see it here right protect on and I'll go back again to the same key and change the value to zero so let's Try with it again. I change it to zero and I will go to my flash drive, the original one that I was experimenting with. Again, create another document. delete this for now create a notepad again call it test3 and the text inside it is test3 and I will save it to the flash drive and voila it is saved now. So now we are in a state where the writing to the flash drive is allowed. And I will take that key also and export it. And call it write protect off. Save it in the same place. And now I can close my registry. So remember now, I have two keys, one called write protect off, one called write protect on. So instead, from now on, instead of going to the registry and edit anything, let's say that I want to attach a drive uh, to my computer and I want to protect it, meaning I want the protection on, I just double click this, and when I'm done, I'll double click this registry key. So those two want to enable the protection and want to disable the protection in case I want to work normally with my computer and use my USB port for writing into a different media. The only thing that you need to uh, pay attention to is each time that you are attaching an evidence to make sure that the right key is on and not to confuse those two and always always 
test with a different drive before you are uh, attaching the actual evidence media okay so that's about software uh, write blocker let's now take a look to see what is available for us as a hardware uh, blockers there is a whole market for uh, hardware uh, write blockers uh, you can either buy them separately that you can attach to a computer or if you are buying a computer that is uh, designed for forensics there are such uh, computers uh, then the write blocker will be part of that computer let's take a look here on the on the web what is available for us this is a machine that is designed for forensics it's called the Fred it's from a company called digital intelligence they have also separate write blockers but this is a whole computer a whole forensic station that you can see it's equipped with multiple drives that you can add hard drives here and on the upper side this here is a write blocker where you can attach different kinds of drives the same company digital intelligence have also separate write blockers you can buy them according to what drive or what the drives that can be attached to those drives there are right blockers for SCSI hard drives there are for IDE uh, SATA and there are for uh, flash drives and there are some that will do multiple so the website again is digitalintelligence.com that's one kind uh, another kind here this is for USB drives and from one side it connects to your USB from the other side you connect the USB drive that you wanna protect it from writing one more this is another one called the ultra dock and it can be be also used for IDE or SATA it's just a different company the most famous I think are the tableau right blockers this company is famous I think it was bought recently by And we can take a closer look at this one if we can. So this is the power for it. And this is multiple connections that you can connect with different kind of connections to your computer. And this one can take an ID or a SATA. And the connections are eSATA, USB 2, Firewire, and this is for the power let's see how do we uh, connect them actually to the computer I found this picture on Flickr this is a photo by John Krell if I'm pronouncing that correctly and thanks to him this is a Tableau bright blocker as you see it is connected to the power and we are taking power from it to the hard drive this is the hard drive it is connected to the write blocker and both with a USB here connected to the USB of the computer so in this case no writing will be happening to this hard drive assume that this is the hard drive that contains the digital evidence that concludes our video about write blockers. Thank you.